and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Feel free to subscribe, like, comment, do what you will. Today, I'm gonna be talking about the classic flap wallet from Chanel. Before we begin the video, I just wanna say that I have been collecting luxury items for years. This item I bought a long, long time ago. I collect for the sole purpose of reselling for a profit. So these items you see that I present on my channel, I bought them when they were worth a lot less money and now they're a lot more money and I'm planning on selling them. So here's one item I'm gonna sell soon. So here is the box for the wallet. It just came in this little nice, you know, classic Chanel box. So here is the wallet. It is the Chanel classic flap wallet. As you can see, it is somewhat big. It is around the length of a hand, a little bit more than a length of a hand. The exact dimensions are 4.3 by 7 by 12 inches. So this wallet is a good sized wallet. For me personally, I don't need to carry that much stuff. So for me, this wallet is too big, but for other people, this is a great sized wallet if you carry bigger bags or if you have a lot of cards that you need to carry on an everyday basis. But if you have a smaller bag, this probably won't fit in it. When you first open up the wallet, it opens up like a flap. I think that this is great if you are trying to get a piece to add to your collection that matches one of your Chanel handbags or if it matches a Chanel flap bag because it kind of looks like a mini version of the bag and it has the opening just like a bag would. Then if you see here, it opens up to a trifold. You have one, two, three, four, five, six compartments for your cards. Again, so if you have a lot of cards, this is a great size. It has two pockets right here. And there's two pockets right here, a little flap in the middle for loose change or receipts or whatever you need to carry. And then here it kind of has a secret compartment. Chanel is known for their secret compartments because it is said that she used to put her love letters in these secret compartments. So in an actual Chanel bag, you have a secret compartment when you open up the flap and in the wallet you do as well. So they're mirroring each other, mother, daughter, they look good together. As you can see on the top, it also has a pocket for money and cash. Again, this wallet kind of mirrors the Chanel Classic flat bag with the pocket and there's a pocket on the actual bag, but this pocket makes it easy to get cards that you need in a quick moment out and about. This wallet is just a wallet that it is easy to use because all that's required is just the open of the snap and the card access is pretty easy, it opens up. For me, what I think would be a problem for this wallet is again, the sizing, the sizing is a little too big. And if you want really quick access to cards, it's not the quickest access. You have to open up the whole thing and pull it out and it just won't give you as quick an access as let's say a zippy wallet or even a card holder if you just want your cards. In my opinion, I think you should buy this wallet pre-loved because the price of this wallet in store new is not the same as a wallet on chain. I think the wallet on chain is still much higher, but the price of this is still very expensive. And in my opinion, you might as well just save up for an actual bag. This size is almost like a wallet on chain size. The wallet on chain is slightly longer, but the width is pretty similar. And the wallet on chain has a bit more space for all of your stuff. This wallet overall is a beautiful addition to any collector's collection, but I would say if you are a person that uses smaller bags and you don't carry around a lot of stuff in your wallet, I would go for a cheaper, smaller wallet and then use the rest of your money to either buy a pre-loved good or you could use the money you saved from buying this and put it towards a bag of some sort. But overall, this is a beautiful wallet and if you are planning on buying it, I wish you luck and I hope you enjoy it. All right, everyone, that is it for my wallet review. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you if you are a collector or someone that sells or just like looking at these kind of things. I hope you all have a good day and see you later. Bye.